we are here at Red Cliff Plantation State Historic Site, one of three plantation historic sites in the South Carolina State Park System. Today we are going to do a craft inspired by one of the historic structures still standing at Red Cliff, the stables, or what some people call the barn, built in the very early 1900s. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about the stables. This structure is a two-story building, and there used to be a fence that stretched out into this area known as the working yard. This is the backyard area of the mansion. A barn or stables is a building where you often store farm equipment, animals such as horses and mules that we know were here, and food for the animals, like hay. One of the former owners of Redcliffe was Julia Hammond Richards. She had horses here and loved to ride. Hay would have been stored on the second floor and dropped through these chutes for the horses to eat. In here, you can also see that a pipe system was set up to provide a consistent flow of water to the horses. We have old images of what the stables used to look like. This image from 1904 on the left shows how it started as a single two-story structure. Then a second wing was added by 1908. This picture shows that at one time, a total of six horses and a mule were stored there. Let's get started with our stables craft. You can make yours any color, but I'm gonna make mine look more like the Red Cliff stables with a green roof and a white building. You'll need popsicle sticks, big and small, paint, water, paint brushes, some napkins, scissors, glue, construction paper, and you'll want to decide what color you want your barn to be. Let's start with painting our popsicle sticks so that they have time to dry. I use tempera paint because it washes off more easily than acrylic paint. I want to make a nice light green color for the roof of my stables, so I'm going to mix some green and white. On my other example to the left, I made the roof white and the actual building red. We are going to paint the little popsicle sticks and use those for the roof. We only need to paint one side of the popsicle sticks. Now we're gonna do the large popsicle sticks and we're gonna paint those the color we want the main part of the building. On my other example to the left, I used red, but this one will be white just like the Red Cliff Stables. I'm gonna paint a couple small popsicle sticks white too that I'll put on later. For the white paint, it's best to use two coats.
Now that we are done painting, let's get these out of the way so that they can dry for a couple minutes. Now we need to create the top part of our staples. I'm going to use white paper to match the white building at Red Cliff, but you can use a different color if you want, like the red one you see here too. We will make a pentagon, so a five-sided shape, and we can use the small popsicle sticks to help us with the size. I already had mine cut out, but you would trace the pentagon, then cut it out. Then we want two black squares or rectangles for the windows. Now let's use stick glue to paste the pentagon onto our background. I'm going to use a light blue sheet of construction paper for a nice daytime scene in a blue sky. I prefer stick glue for the construction paper because sometimes the liquid will bleed through. Now we can attach the rooftop. I'm going to use liquid glue for the popsicle sticks. We need four little popsicle sticks to make the roof. I made my roof green here, but white on the red barn to the left. Now I will start attaching the bottom half of the stables with my large popsicle sticks, starting with the base going horizontally, so sideways, then adding the rest vertically, so up and down. I add seven popsicle sticks vertically for the bottom of the building. Whoops, I forgot I wanted to add an X for a barn door. Our stables don't have that giant X on it like the red barn does, but I like how it looks, so I'm going to add it. You can add your own touches to your barn or stables too. These are gonna be that light green that match the roof. And I'm gonna let those dry and add one last big popsicle stick to the base. Our stables have a ladder going to the second floor. So let's add those extra little white popsicle sticks to make a ladder on our craft.
And now we can add these last two to make it look like a barn door on the bottom. Now that everything is glued on, feel free to add some paint and your own details to your art craft. I'm gonna add some grass on the ground. and some clouds. Why not add a few flowers to the grass too? Thanks for joining us today. Find more crafts on the South Carolina State Park social media and YouTube pages, as well as other virtual programs.